it's one of the easier controllers. I feel like a lot of the, the more complicated controllers, in my experience, they're, you're, you're not totally confident what's gonna happen when you click a button or go to a screen or getting back to a screen, and that's scary, so you tend to not push buttons. But with, with the Herco, it's, it's quite clear when you push a button what's going to happen. So the, the risk of breaking stuff is quite a bit lower when you're confident in what you're doing on the controller, which I think the Herco does a good job of. We make some pretty specialized factory equipment for companies that make certain kinds of medical devices, vascular devices like balloon catheters and stents and prosthetic heart valves. Back in the 90s, I spent a little bit of time working at a local company in Arizona that makes some vascular medical devices. That's how I got introduced to the industry when I started my own company as an engineering consulting company. For the first uh, about a year, uh, started out as engineering consulting, but as we started getting into actually making machines, yeah, they were assembled in my laundry room with parts made in local machine shops and also on a milling machine on my back patio, so yeah. You know, I, I, think, I think it comes down to fundamentally our competitors are more sales and marketing driven companies and we're more an engineering driven company. You know, we focus on designing the best products and doing really a lot of in-depth engineering on our stuff and uh, providing good customer service. We don't concentrate at all on market growth or sales and marketing and we just sort of let the let the sales come naturally from having good products that are really compelling for people. So the, the VM10s are an excellent general purpose mill. Like 80% uh, of our parts we make on the VM10 are perfectly great machine for it. For the VMX, we specifically do die blinks, which is basically a 60 pound hunk of stainless that we need to poke holes in and cut the outsides and flip and face mill and all that stuff. Recently, we've, we've stepped up into significantly higher, more, higher performance CNC machines, which is when we started shopping for Herco's. And we did a bunch of applications testing with a, a bunch of other, other vendors and the Herco, not because of brand loyalty, but because they were just the best machine that we found uh, is, is why we decided to go uh, in their X series. Both TMX AMYI is one of the, the newest lathe we bought, and then the VMX 30 is the, the newest mill we bought performance benchmark, they were as good or better than anything else we tested. But from a from a user standpoint, the, the controller was also leagues ahead of anything else that existed, uh, both for operator use and for setter, setup design, the ability to, to program on your desktop computer and send file over simulations. Our, our, fav our favorite buttons, for sure, are the feed, hold, and the interrupt, uh, as with pretty much everybody who runs the Herco just absolutely loves those buttons. The controller itself is really intuitive and easy to use, and the, it's really easy to know what you're doing, but as far as if a button, the feed, hold, and the interrupt are amazing. We've had manual machinists uh, come on, and you can run, run the mills pretty quickly as an operator or setup fairly quickly. The engineers will jump on sometimes. Even though they're not machinists, they don't do this day in, day out, but it's, it's pretty intuitive. To just jump on and cut some stuff. And so most people come from other machine builders onto the Herco and pretty quickly everybody likes them. Honestly, the, our, uh, our biggest constraint in our business is certainly not how much stuff we can sell. Uh, it's far from that. It's not so much how much stuff we can build and produce, although it's more so that, but mostly it's, it's getting really high quality people in here to help us to help us uh, do this. So yeah, if you're out there, come talk to us. We're a really great place to work because uh, you know there's just there's a lot of freedom here and you'll feel good about it because you're working in a place that's honest and it's trying to do good in the world. And uh, yeah, come on over.